Alright, so um, you know what we have here is a switchblade. Uh, it's a two UI system where the first UI is what everyone's used to, it's a screen. Uh, Razer's done a, a, an optimized uh, media library and you know has the ability to uh, sort through games and my touch screen is broken. Okay, here we go. So it gives you the ability to you know browse through games very quickly and, and basically within one touch or one click, you're gonna be able to launch whatever you want, right? Uh, you go into movies and you can look at movie trailers, like, uh, well, you guys maybe aren't into movie trailers as much as games, so I don't games. So, um, if I set up the Wi-Fi, I could launch World of Warcraft, but it's not a very impressive demo without Wi-Fi, it won't even boot, so I'll, I'll do maybe, uh, Warcraft 3. Perfect choice. Now you see the keyboard has automatically switched based on detecting that we launched Warcraft onto a Warcraft themed party, which uh, maybe isn't all that impressive, but it certainly helps continue a, a theme. So now, you know, this keyboard can obviously be used to control the, the touchscreen, can just double click. So let's see, what should we do? I think you'd probably be using a mouse to control these games, especially, well, especially anything that a mouse looks as far as mouse looks. So it's not really, but there's a lot of games here that don't look like that. So. So as you can see, the cinematics for these games are not, you know, choppy or slow or cut up. Um, there is an internal speaker, but we're not going to be able to compete with CES. Yet. Um, it, it usually, or in the past, uh, netbooks haven't really been able to handle this kind of you know, cinematics and trailers and stuff. So you get very much a, a foreshortened experience or cut down experience. Some, some of the new Intel Atom technology that's uh, not yet released. Uh, we've been working with Intel to optimize for games. And so we have the ability now, if we, if we name the title, they do a whole bunch of research to figure out uh, how, to, how to get it to run as well. Uh, so you know, here we are, Frozen Throne, and um, I just tap over to my control scheme, and I have obviously very familiar controls. Um, in fact, mapped directly from the screen for uh, you know move and attack. Um, I can just use these you know cursors to uh, move around the, the map. I don't have much exposed by that. Um, could use a mouse, could use a touch screen, could use a keyboard. It's really it could be a lot of things to different people depending on the game you're playing. Um, so you know, let's just do menu. Uh, I'll go back to the keyboard using the chat. Uh, oh, X, X. And then when we quit the game, we're back into our UI and able to move on to the next. Do you uh, show World of Warcraft or does it... I need a Wi-Fi connection, oh, okay. uh, which has been particularly difficult. One thing that's really cool about World of Warcraft is that basically once you map your keys or use the preset, you can reset your Once you set that, you can create your change and you will adapt and you can assign additional keys. Uh, but, and then, once you're there, you can clean off all the icons off the screen. So now you're playing with it. It's essentially better than playing on a PC. But the standard PC, because on a standard PC, especially if you're playing PvP, you guys all of a sudden just hide behind the right? So, now you have a greater, actually, with only a 7 inch screen, you have greater feel. It's pretty interesting. I, I think you can actually get a screenshot of the World of Warcraft uh, key layout yeah, on, the, yeah. on the cycling demo. And so you see basically your entire uh, action bar is laid out as it would be on your screen, basically across your keys. Right. Uh, and then we go secondary with the gifts. Like, for example, one of the rips that I heard some of the internet saying, well, uh, my Warlock's got only 40, uh, my Warlock's got only 40 fans, right? Well, you can have secondary. Yeah, you hold down the shift button, and then all of your, all, yeah, all of your uh, actions. When you 
hit shift, you have your shift actions. All the icons switch. So, I mean, you're basically, it's... So, how many actual permutations have you figured it out? Yeah, I mean, there's... Yeah, more than the three things. So, it's a little bit like an option. You know, you can use shift. Thank you. Exactly the same. Alright, I'm sorry I said I don't have